Audio, video, audio, video, audio, video, okay. Okay, not only is it 5 o'clock somewhere, it is 5 o'clock in paradise. First, the water softener. Somebody's running water, so the pump's running, but uh, the guy gets here, looks at it, I get told the pump's too big. I said, wait, Ty what to do, sold a cyst pre-filter, we didn't get the tank there, tank doesn't matter. Said this filter, this pump, this softener, that filter. Actually, I added the filter because they didn't have the one I wanted. But anyhow, um, Ty Watson said I didn't even need that. But the guy says, no, no, too big, too big, too big. And I'm like getting pissed because I'm like, look, they said this is what I need. This is what I got. He said, well, I'll reduce it down to three-quarter inch pipe. <clears throat> I'm like, what? It's one inch all the way through here. It's too big. It's too big. I'm getting pissed. I'm keeping my cool, but I'm getting pissed inside. And I'm just like, call Ty Watsby right now. Tell him something. Call Ty Watsby right now. Ask him what they're going to do. So we'll try to make this a short story. So we're just going to get right to what happened. <clears throat> For some reason, I don't know. I, I don't know really what happened. I'm just going to tell you what the end result was. He didn't have the damn one inch pipe to put in here, even though he brought all of this, right? He knows what model this is. He knows it's one inch. Ty Watson, who had us make a video of this system and send it to them, and he said he's seen it, but he brought three quarter inch pipe and fittings and everything else. And I put my foot down and I said, no, that ain't going to work. I got one inch all the way to the house. I changed this because Duke wanted it changed to one inch. I said, if you reduce it here and then go back to one inch, I'm going to lose my volume and some pressure. After about 20 minutes, and I don't know if this was in the translation with Sound Pit or how they missed this, but in the end it turned out he didn't have the damn one inch pipe. He didn't bring anything with him. Uh, so I got a whole box of parts right here. Go to work. Pipe laying there on the floor. Just get it done. So I ended up putting in one inch. We wasted a half hour and I, my blood pressure went through the roof. But it is in now. It is working. Um, so the water softener is complete. If I had a fork, I'd have stabbed myself in the eye. I was pissed. Air conditioner people showed up. <clears throat> Got boxes sitting all over. And I'm going to save the big one for last. But there's a little bit mounted. You see no pipes, no nothing, correct? All right. That's a good deal. This one is mounted. The compressor is mounted here behind the backwards door. Um, Tom Pitt, well, I was going to put it over here. Some Pitt wanted here. In the end, it didn't really matter to me because wherever they put it, I was going to put the door swing in the opposite direction anyhow, so it doesn't really matter. So I'll have the door hinged on this side so it swing open, keep that hot air kind of isolated behind the door. Um, the one in our bedroom, they got it mounted, the compressor sitting in here, and the one in the living room, the compressor sitting in here, they'll be back tomorrow. There were some supplies or parts or something they didn't have with them. I think it was for the extension on this. So as you can see, they got that mounted. Um, yeah, tomorrow they'll just come in and put the two compressors on the outside. They have not done much up in the roof yet, so they got to run these lines over here. But let me show you what we ended up doing with the drain. And True Jet, you got it right. They just didn't do it quite the way we talked about it, but it works. They brought it through the wall, across here, down through there, down there. Under the counter, let me get my camera down here, under the counter, all the way around, and just left it hanging over there for me to get tied in there. 
All right, so they'll get this tied in tomorrow. Yeah, they haven't even got the lines up there yet. So they got the two uh, compressors to put in yet, and they will be done. Uh, tile guys. They had this yesterday, but they did get the sinks poured here and in our bathroom. Yes, I think they had that yesterday when we looked at it. But uh, they got the sinks poured. And in here, sinks poured. More importantly, they got this wall done. I tell you, I'm not an interior designer, but I think whoever designed this did a really nice job picking these colors and patterns. I don't want to break my arm, but yeah, I did it. Thank you. They uh, finish out the sides of this back step and all of this along here. From the tile down and across there. That's all done now. It is starting to put together the cabinets for here. This is Southfish project, so I just I just let her, her and him figure it out. It's just, this whole kitchen's been her project, and it's, I mean, I'm giving her advice if I think she's pointing in the wrong direction, but uh, it's going to be nice when she gets done. And I'm really surprised because we both were saying, that's ah, so small, it's so small, it's so small, but really it's not. It's going to be about right, actually. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. And we'll just have to notch a couple shelves for our little drain pipe, but... I am pleased with that pipe. I did not want to put it out there. We were on our feet all day long though once they got here <clears throat> and started going. A lot of questions we had to go through with the air conditioning people to make sure we got everything where we wanted it. Um, I was pretty flexible about where those compressors were going to go over there. So that's why I said uh, one I would have put on the other side of the door if something wanted there. So I just said whatever. The softener's good, but. This filter, I had this tight before I glued it, but he pulled on it and it came loose, like unthreaded, and now it's leaking. So the only way to fix that now is for me to take this apart tomorrow, take this out, build a whole new one, re-thread this in there and re-plumb re this. And then he took this wrench and wrenched on this and pulled it off the wall instead of holding it up here tighten it. He just put the wrench on there and started pushing on it and pulled the freaking mounting bolts out of the wall. So I have to fix that. I need to, <clears throat> this is not glued, it's just sitting there. Um, this is the, like the backwash pipe. I want to put that outside, but I don't want to use that hole for that because I was trying to get an answer from him. What happens to the salt in here? Because he said, oh, you have to add salt he said every four months, but I know the one that I had in the United States, the ones I had in the United States, we were adding salt shit every month. He's saying once every four months, throw a bag in there. I don't know. If anybody knows for sure, let me know. I might be wrong. Yeah, fix the leak and get that pipe out. And then there's also an overflow right here. He did not hook up. I'm going to, when I make the hole, I'll just get a tube, a piece of tubing and run that out with it. Paradise Farm. Um, some pick got some weed killer for her rice field and had some old dude with a back sparrow go out there and spray it today 120 baht but i'm telling you this rice farming is not worth the time of day by the time you pay to get the land tilled pay the rice to for seed pay to spray it and then at the end of the year you got to go out there and hand pick it or hire someone to come in and harvest it with a machine our field is so small they'll hand pick it but then you got to pay somebody to process it which means get the husk off it. You've spent more time and effort in the uh, rice than what it would even cost you to go buy the stuff. I don't know how they do it. I'm not gonna keep track of it this year, but next year if we do rice again, I will track every penny of it. This year I don't care, I'm just focused on this, so I don't really care, but I can tell you already, just what I've seen it ain't gonna be worth it. We are talking about maybe putting, cows out here walking around, putting some uh, trenches kind of around the perimeter. First off, this fall, I think we're gonna, oh, I forgot your name, man. I mentioned you the other day about the Y picket, or the Y post, Y steel post, Y pickets, I think they're called, Y picket fence, which is in the US, they're just steel fence posts, the barbed wire fence posts. But I think we're gonna run this perimeter with those. Um, oh man, I wish I could remember your name. We had several emails a while back, but anyhow, um, he gave me the, 
name of the place in Bangkok where I can get those ordered and they'll ship them right to me. So we'll figure out how many we need. We'll get barbed wire locally. We'll have them shipped here, get a postal digger or driver, and I'll hire somebody to just run around the outside, pound those in, and uh, keep the cows out of here forever. And then I don't have to sit out here and chase them out of the pond. So in addition to the fence, she wants to put like a trench. Now I'm going to just throw some numbers out. Three meters wide. No. Yeah, three meters wide, two meters deep, down the side, across the back, and up the road. Um, and she wants to put fish in there, I think. But I don't know. She's got some plan to have some kind of an island-type thing out here to grow durian trees or something. on. I don't know. I'm okay with that. I just I just want something that's high maintenance because I don't plan on sitting here for the next 10 years. I plan on keeping my butt moving as long as I can. But right here, and I, I think this is a good idea, she wants to add this kana out. She wants to probably triple the size of it. And when she does that, I'll move those pipes out, and then we'll plant a couple, three, four big trees right here just to kind of give some shade and stuff for the house. We did get most of this stuff hauled out of here. I'm going to grab that young man over there in a little bit, see if he'll help me carry this pallet of the tile out front, get the rest of this all cleaned up. We got most of the building debris out of here. Um, get it leveled off as best we can by hand. And we're going to get some bags of cow poop. We got like 30 bags of cow shit over there. We're going to get that over here, get that all spread out. Get some, I got fertilizer, a big bag of fertilizer at mom's house. We'll get that spread out here. Start getting some plant food in this ground so we can... Uh, get some grass seed down. I've already got the grass seed bought, but these guys, when they so leveled this or whatever they did, they pulled a bunch of the dirt out of here. So now I'm missing a bunch of dirt. I'm probably going to have to hand carry the shit from over there over to here to level this back out again because they took it and put it under the concrete. Why they didn't take that? Because they didn't want to carry it up here. Now I got to carry it from there all the way up here. Freaking people. And that looks pretty low right there. So we'll get some dirt back in there. I still have zero plan for this fence. I don't want to spend 200,000 baht for a freaking fence. If that becomes the case, I will buy the supplies and I will spend the next year building fence pieces myself. Oh, and uh, I think the other day I talked on the video about the storm we had. And we had a tree laying on the wires down there way past my poles. So I had some pick call PEA this morning and just say, hey, we got a wire, a tree on the wires down there. Um, and I told her to tell them, you know, it's not critical because we're not out of power. But they probably want to get them off there because it, it was a big tree. It was a big tree. And I just, I don't know how it didn't take the wires out, but it held them. But uh, anyhow, about two hours later, they showed up here and said, where's this tree at? Where's this tree? Some pit took them down there. He said, oh, they told me you were out of power. But he took the tree down anyhow, so the tree's fixed. <laughs> Good deal. My <clears> throat's dry. I got to get something to drink. And I got to get these fish fed. They look like they're hungry. They see me walk around up here and they're getting pretty excited. I think tomorrow I'm going to get me some chicken liver. I'm going to do some catfishing. I'm going to get these guys some catfish and some beer, I think, tomorrow. I think that's my plan. Air conditioner guys will probably be done by midday, so I'll have all afternoon to deal with it. As you can see, it's dark over there. It looks like it could rain here in a little while, if that's coming this way. I don't know which way the weather's traveling today. Okay, I've been babbling on for about, what, 15 minutes now, so... We're going to shut this video off. We will see you all tomorrow, probably midday after the air conditioners are done or else something comes up on this countertop stuff or the plumber shows up. Air conditioning people are here trying to finish up, but about an hour ago it started cooling off. Wind is slowly picking up. You can see rain coming right there. It's starting to sprinkle. Um, they've got two units hung outside and connected, I think. The third one they have not got connected yet. Let's step over here real quick. It's going to get wet here, but... Yeah, they got this one, the small one done. That's the bedroom for us. So that's the uh, 18,000 BTU. They're trying to get the 24,000 in right now. They've been working on the lines in the overhead. They haven't got this mounted, as you can see, and they're going to get delayed here. And I don't know. It might be a while. This isn't a storm like we had the other day where it just came and went. This looks like it's going to be here a minute. That looks like pretty good rain coming. I uh, got here this morning. First thing I did was fix these leaks on this filter. I think I talked about it in yesterday's video where the guy pulled on this pipe and get knocked it loose. I took it apart this morning. 
and got these fixed. But when I went to put it back together, the union I had here was leaking. I took it apart. Well, when I had originally built it, the union was intact when I glued it in here. And some of the glue had got down into the union. So when I put it back together this time, it was on the seal, damaged the seal. So I ended up having to replace this, but everything is working. It's online. We have soft water. If I open this valve and then go open my car wash hose here, right here, I have soft water. But we have not turned on the line to the house yet, obviously, because the house is not ready. It's got open lines in it. But turn that on and the house will be fed. We get down to Paradise Village, we cut this pipe here, put a T in there, T it into the ground, and put a valve on this end of it for anything I need to do out here, or add or whatever, and that will be done. So it's just five minutes work is all we got left. I do need to put this, that center pipe there is the flush line for the softener. I do need to probably do something different with that though. We got some water coming out of our roof drains finally. Um, yeah, I just it didn't have him glue this together, it just stuffed out the hole there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pound a hole through this wall and bring this up a little bit, do it more like that one. Put a piece of PVC in the wall so that if I ever need to change it or do something with it, I can easily get it in and out. But I'll set it up just like I did all these other ones. All right, another evening in paradise. We're going to have a nice sunset here in a little bit, I think. Um, we already fed the fish. Uh, we're going to walk around real quick and just take a look at what happened. Um, so he's working on different sections of the cabinets. So those of you that are not familiar with this, he will tile the front of all this and then just stick the cabinet doors into it. Once the tiles are in, they'll mortar them in. Um, we just had the sink in there, pre-testing fitting our pipe fittings to get my vent valve in there. And we're gonna take this into the pipe right below the vent valve. Air conditioners are all installed 100%. I haven't even heard one run. I know he had them running, but right after, we'll go somewhere where it's quiet. Um, right after they left, I mean, within 15 minutes, they were test running. 15 minutes later, the voltage dropped on the house. We couldn't only run, but like one light, two lights would come on. That's about it. Um, it read 32 volts for three hours. It just jumped back up a little bit ago. Uh, Duke messaged today, wanted to know what color of stain we wanted our doors, which I don't understand because I don't think they can get this stain off of here. I figured they would just use that same color, which would have been fine with me. But maybe this isn't stain. Maybe it's some kind of protective coating or something. Um, if anybody knows, please comment down below and let us all know. Maybe I've been bitching about this for nothing, but I don't think so because they actually taped a couple of these, but usually when you do this, yeah, you end up with all that glue shit on there. But I'd rather have the glue to clean off than the paint. So that sprinkle earlier turned into a steady sprinkle and then into a light rain and then a moderate rain and just held that for about, about the right amount of time, about 30, 45 minutes. Um, as soon as it let back to a light sprinkle, I ran out here and looked at everything. This is working out great. Um, there is some mud here because you can see my footprints. I was out here kind of packing the mud in there while it was wet. So when it sets up, it'll be hard as hell. But this is working. Um, the rain here built up behind it. Come back around here, right down across here, and drained out. The biggest ass ache the rest of my life is going to be these rails, keeping the dirt and shit out of them so we don't derail the gate. Uh, the back drive looked good. I just looked over here at the wall where the gate goes into the pond where I put that sloped uh, dam, if that's what you want to call it. Um, it looks good, but when I look outside, it looks like water's coming out from underneath the wall from somewhere. Uh, but I didn't look at it prior to the rain or while it was raining. I just noticed it when I went over to feed the fish. So it's not real bad, but next time it rains, I'll take a look at that. That might have happened when we had that downpour the other day i don't know but either way i need to figure out what that is but everything else looks pretty good for the water i think we've got everything taken care of it's just gonna be the ultimate test come what august september all right i think some pits texting me so i need to go look at that but we're getting ready to enjoy this sunset so 
We will see you tomorrow.